Jonathan! You got Doug? Come on, come on! Are you all right? Give me your hand. You got it? Come on, slow down, slow down. Ancient Egypt's rich history and culture have captured imaginations for centuries. Ongoing revelations are redefining knowledge of its grandeur, as innovative technologies uncover secrets lost to time. This illuminates previously unknown aspects of a civilization that still amazes the world. Join us as we show you 20 recent archaeological discoveries in Egypt that have sparked global interest. Number 20. The Saqqara Tombs Discovery The Saqqara Tombs have opened a window into the past, astonishing the world with their secrets. As one of the most significant recent archaeological discoveries in Egypt, Saqqara has yielded a wealth of invaluable information, not just an intricate complex of tombs, but also a treasury of priceless archaeological treasures. Located south of Cairo, Saqqara has been a key site of archaeological interest for centuries, but nothing could have prepared the world for the magnitude and exquisite detail of the 2020 findings. Archaeologists unearthed over a hundred perfectly preserved ancient coffins, some still containing mummies, along with statues, masks, and amulets of unparalleled artistry. Yet the biggest revelation was the discovery of the burial shafts, estimated to be around 2,500 years old. These shafts, some extending as deep as 12 meters into the ground, were filled with layered coffins, each ornately decorated and carefully sealed. This testified to the elaborate burial rituals of ancient Egyptians. The Saqqara tombs have truly astonished global archaeology, reaffirming the timeless allure of Egypt's archaeological mysteries. As more hidden treasures are uncovered, we gain an ever richer understanding of this fascinating civilization. Number 19. The Abydos Stargate Abydos, one of ancient Egypt's most important archaeological sites, has long been a source of fascination for researchers. The city is home to a number of significant monuments, including the Osirayon, a mortuary temple complex dedicated to the god Osiris. However, a recent discovery has added an intriguing new dimension to Abydos's significance, an alleged ancient stargate. This supposed portal, as the name suggests, is thought to be an entrance to other realms. The Stargate is a large, circular device with a glowing aperture in the center. The aperture is said to be a wormhole, which is a tunnel through space-time. It is thought to be an entrance to other realms hidden in the Earth's magnetic fields, and it could transport people beyond existing constraints of time. The city's temple, known as the Osirian, has long been shrouded in mystery, with bizarre carvings on its walls that perplex Egyptologists. These carvings, absent in other temples, have fueled speculation about the temple's links to other worlds. The enigma is further compounded by claims that information about the Abydos Stargate may have been accessible for generations, waiting to be decoded. If proven authentic, the Abydos Stargate would profoundly transform our understanding of ancient Egypt, revolutionizing perspectives on the potential manipulation of space-time and interdimensional travel. Number 18. The Perplexing Carvings Adding to the mystery at Abydos are the unique perplexing carvings adorning the temple walls there, standing out starkly against the well-documented repertoire of Egyptian hieroglyphs. These carvings, seemingly out of place in the ancient Egyptian context, have sparked an array of theories from ancient advanced technology to evidence of extraterrestrial contact. Often called the Abydos helicopter, due to a distinct helicopter-like figure, the panel also depicts what appears to be modern vehicles, a submarine, spaceship, and other futuristic symbols. These figures are incongruously juxtaposed against traditional Egyptian reliefs, challenging established timelines of technological advancement. Mainstream Egyptologists posit these carvings resulted from overlapping hieroglyphs, where a pharaoh's cartouche was replaced by a successor's. This palimpsest effect could have created converging symbols resembling modern machinery. However, this does little to dampen the allure of the carving's uncanny resemblance to contemporary technology, piquing curiosity about ancient Egyptians' knowledge. Number 17. The Global Stargate Network The concept of a stargate, enabling instant travel between locations or dimensions, is captivating. Recent archaeological explorations have sparked the theory of a global network of ancient stargates, 
strategically situated worldwide, including in Egypt, Peru, and Sri Lanka. Intriguingly, the locations of these proposed stargates roughly form the points of a triangle across vast distances and oceans. Egypt, Peru, and Sri Lanka are separated by thousands of miles, yet some speculate their contrasting ancient civilizations may have been connected through a stargate system. Central to this theory is the notion that these geographically distant cultures nevertheless share surprising similarities, possibly indicating contact with an advanced global prehistoric civilization that constructed this network. The staggering distances involved heighten the mystery of how such theoretically linked cultures could have maintained contact without technological means, like stargates for rapid transit and communication. Many supposed stargates are located near water, furthering this theory. Reasons are myriad. Water as a life giver, travel conduit, civilization catalyst, and perhaps energy source. In Egypt, the Abydos stargate was discussed, with hieroglyphs depicting a gate-like structure linked to Osiris, god of the underworld and rebirth. This significant location and Egyptians' advanced cosmic knowledge lends credibility. In Peru, the Gate of the Gods, or Puerta de Hayumarca, a large door-shaped structure carved into a mountain near Lake Titicaca, is said to have been a portal to other worlds. In Sri Lanka, the exquisite Ranmasu Uyana Gardens contain a discrete granite carving called the Sri Lanka Stargate. Believed to represent a map of the universe or Stargate, its proximity to water reservoirs may hint at connections between water and Stargate operation. Number 16. Advanced Technology Artifacts in Egypt depict technology advanced far beyond what should have existed in ancient times. According to ancient astronaut theorists, these anomalies imply intervention from an extraterrestrial civilization that taught the ancients advanced knowledge. They argue that alien beings called the Anunnaki shared their technology with cultures like ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. However, mainstream archaeologists attribute many of these artifacts to mythological symbolism, accidents of wear, or coincidental resemblance to modern items. They caution against jumping to extraordinary conclusions. The Saqqara bird, a tiny wooden object unearthed near Cairo, resembles a modern airplane, complete with wings, tail, and fuselage. While its function is unknown, its aerodynamic shape closely mirrors flight fundamentals utilized today. Could the ancient Egyptians have understood such concepts without outside help? Ancient astronaut theorists assert that knowledge of aviation must have come from alien visitors. Equally perplexing are carvings at the Temple of Hathor at Dendera, depicting huge bulb-like objects resembling light bulbs, complete with filaments and socket-like bases. While mainstream archaeology claims these represent mythological symbols like the sun, Ancient astronaut theorists see an unmistakable similarity to modern electrical lighting. Did the ancients have access to an unknown energy source? Or were they taught lamp technology by otherworldly visitors wanting to enlighten primitive cultures? Again and again, sites like the temples of Abydos and Karnak yield enigmatic objects defying the conventional wisdom of what ancient Egyptian technology should look like. Giant light bulbs, model planes, elaborate batteries, these revelations shatter rigid boundaries on ancient technological prowess and opens up profound and disruptive speculation that we are not alone in this cosmos, nor were we ever. Number 15. Time Travel and Wormholes Time travel and wormholes, concepts once purely in the realm of science fiction, have gained serious consideration in modern physics, particularly regarding theories of the fabric of the universe. To understand the Abydos Stargate's relationship to these ideas, it's crucial to first grasp the fundamental principles behind time travel and wormholes, specifically the Einstein-Rosen Bridge. Time travel asserts that people or information can move between different points in time, to either the past or future, analogous to moving between different points in space. Wormholes originate from theoretical physics, specifically Einstein's general relativity. A wormhole is essentially a shortcut through space-time, connecting distant points in the universe that would otherwise take impractically long to traverse. 
The Einstein-Rosen bridge refers to a theoretical solution in Einstein's general relativity equations that predicts the possibility of bridges through space-time. These bridges, now known as wormholes, would in essence create shortcuts or tunnels enabling travel between two distant points in space virtually instantaneously. In the Einstein-Rosen bridge model, space-time is envisioned as a fabric that can be warped and connected through these bridges. An object traveling through such a bridge could take a cosmic shortcut rather than traversing the full distance through normal space. This could enable effective faster-than-light travel and communication. The Stargate theory speculates that the ancient Egyptians may have harnessed this wormhole concept through advanced technology or metaphysical means to establish portals usable for near-instant transportation across vast cosmic distances. Much like an Einstein-Rosen wormhole bridges two points in the fabric of space-time, an operational Stargate would theoretically create a stable, traversable opening, allowing matter to tunnel across normal space. This is why the Abido Stargate and carvings are thought to perhaps depict a technological application of the Einstein-Rosen bridge on a massive scale, enabling rapid transit between different locations or dimensions through a human-engineered wormhole. The Stargate notion represents one hypothetical mechanism for achieving the type of advanced cosmic travel and communication attributed to ancient civilizations based on artifacts like the Abydos hieroglyphs. The Einstein-Rosen bridge provides the theoretical physics foundation, underpinning how such exotic faster-than-light transit might be achieved through manipulating space-time itself. Number 14. The Anuradhapura Chart the city of Anuradhapura in Sri Lanka contains astonishing archaeological treasures testifying to an advanced civilization deeply immersed in rich spiritual and cosmological ideology. Among its many intriguing artifacts is the Anuradhapura chart. This complex collection of etched symbols and geometries has excited researchers and theorists due to its uncanny similarities to certain Egyptian artifacts and its supposed function as a cosmic map. The Anuradhapura chart likely dates back to the ancient Anuradhapura kingdom, around 300 BCE, a period known for advancements in astronomy, medicine, and architecture. The chart predominantly features an intricate pattern of interwoven circles and squares resembling a mandala, holding deep spiritual symbolism in many cultures. What sets the Anuradhapura chart apart is its striking resemblance to certain Abydos carvings. Like the Abydos temple carvings, the chart is said to demonstrate a detailed understanding of the cosmos, indicating a common thread of advanced astronomical knowledge between these widely separated civilizations. Some theorists suggest the chart serves as a map of the universe, with geometric patterns representing celestial coordinates, and each symbol depicting a constellation or celestial body. Its concentric circle layout is likened to an orrery, representing the sun at the center, encircled by other celestial bodies and their orbits. While the chart's precise connection to the broader Stargate theory remains ambiguous, it is compelling. The potential correlations between the Anuradhapura chart and Abydos Stargate provide an exciting pathway to discuss ancient astronaut theories. If the chart indeed functioned as a cosmic map, could it have served practical purposes for space travel via the alleged Stargates? Number 13. Pyramid Obelisk Network Recent examinations of multiple Egyptian pyramids have led some theorists to speculate that pyramids and obelisks may have formed an integrated, technologically advanced power generation and wireless transmission network in ancient times. This hypothetical system could have harnessed natural Earth energies using pyramids, while obelisks transmitted the power electromagnetically as electricity across Egypt. Several clues lend circumstantial support, though no conclusive evidence has surfaced. Major pyramid fields like Giza are flanked by towering obelisks, strategically positioned nearby. This proximity could imply a functional relationship versus merely being a symbol. Additionally, temples with obelisks are configured directly upon geological fault lines, optimal for harnessing conductive terrestrial energies. Granite obelisks and the granite built into pyramids both contain high densities of quartz crystals exhibiting piezoelectric qualities to generate an electric charge. 
Chambers and passageways inside the pyramids demonstrate precise acoustic resonance designs that could have amplified power. Interestingly, obelisks share the same resonant acoustic proportions, tuned to harmony sympathetically with the piezoelectric vibrations inside pyramid chambers. Gold leaf lining many obelisks and pyramid inner walls may have served as a conductive element to enhance the transfer of the harnessed energy. The narrow shafts protruding from pyramid chambers towards stars like Orion and Sirius imply ancient astronomical alignment knowledge and possible energetic functions. Intriguingly, pyramid structures constructed from stone can be found across the world, including at sites like the Pyramids of Guimar in Spain, the Pyramid of Cestius in Italy, the Nubian Pyramids in Sudan, and the Pyramids of Teotihuacan in Mexico, among others. If the pyramid and obelisk network theory prove true in Egypt, this lends credence to the idea of an ancient global communication grid enabled by similar networks at pyramid sites worldwide. The fundamental principles of design are similar across these ancient cultures, implying a shared understanding of pyramids' inherent power-generating abilities. The consistent evidence across these worldwide sites provides tantalizing clues that point to ancient knowledge well beyond what modern science has yet achieved. The precision of their geophysical locations, acoustic design synchrony, and material composition suggest the ancient Egyptians and other cultures had a profound understanding of how to combine electromagnetism, acoustics, astronomy, and monumental architecture to accomplish something ingenious we have yet to grasp. Number 12. The Temple of Seti I Set amidst the dusty golden landscape of ancient Abydos stands the Temple of First, a magnificent testament to Egypt's past grandeur. Named for Pharaoh Seti I, this structure profoundly reflects the devotion to Osiris, god of the underworld, death, resurrection, and fertility. Built under Seti I's hand completed by his son Ramesses II, the Temple of Seti I is renowned for its architectural details. Its design diverges from traditional Egyptian temples, combining elements of a mortuary temple and an occult temple. Upon entrance, one encounters a grand hypostyle hall lined with intricate carvings and reliefs, leading to chapels dedicated to various deities. Most significantly, there is a chapel devoted to Osiris depicting his death and resurrection. The temple walls feature exquisitely executed base reliefs showcasing skilled craftsmanship. Intricately detailed and remarkably well-preserved, these reliefs provide an enduring record of ancient religious and cultural practices. They reveal a unique fusion of theology, cosmology, and rituals relevant to Osiris's worship. Number 11. The Great Pyramid's Hidden Chamber The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the oldest and most iconic structures in the world. It is also one of the most mysterious. For centuries, archaeologists have puzzled over its purpose and construction. A recent discovery has only deepened the mystery. A hidden chamber within the pyramid that was only revealed using innovative cosmic ray imaging technology. Cosmic ray imaging detects muons to create a 3D image able to penetrate the thick stone. Similar to taking an X-ray, this technique enabled the historic detection of a void within the Great Pyramid above the Grand Gallery, indicating a possible hidden chamber. This shocked archaeology, not just for revealing an unseen aspect of the monument, but for demonstrating this cutting-edge technology's potential to uncover new insights about ancient structures. While the chamber's contents and purpose are still debated, its potential links to the Temple of Seti I are riveting. Some theorists suggest this chamber may contain artifacts offering clues into Egypt's more esoteric beliefs, including connections to the alleged Abydos Stargate and rituals at the Temple of Seti I. This temple was dedicated to Osiris, linked to Abydos and the afterlife. Speculation holds the hidden chamber may have clues to this belief system, including mechanisms or symbols further illuminating the Stargate theory, the Temple of Seti. First, with its celestial alignments and intricate carvings reflected their advanced understanding of astronomy, architecture, and spirituality. Number 10. The Great Sphinx's Hidden Tunnels the Great Sphinx of Giza, the colossal lion-bodied and human-headed statue gazing enigmatically across Egypt's desert landscape, has puzzled experts for centuries. 
Now, recent explorations suggest a hidden network of tunnels, shafts, and chambers underneath the Sphinx, adding a new layer of mystery. While mainstream archaeology regards the Sphinx as a 4,500-year-old monument built during Pharaoh Khafre's reign, some theorists ascribe it a much older age of around 10,000 years. Beneath and around this ancient statue lie countless secrets still to be uncovered. In 2021, archaeologist Matt Sibson used ground-penetrating radar to scan beneath the Sphinx. His scans revealed a large rectangular chamber under the Sphinx's rear section, about 50 feet deep. Further scans suggest tunnels connect this chamber to the Sphinx's base and the nearby Great Pyramid. Could these hidden tunnels offer clues to the Sphinx's true origins and purpose? Mainstream scholars insist natural cavities caused by water and tectonic fracturing created these spaces. Yet, alternate theorists speculate the tunnels may contain artifacts proving the Sphinx predates Khafre's reign or connect to an ancient underground network linked to the alleged stargates. While these radical notions lack solid evidence, the mere possibility of hidden tunnels and chambers around this gigantic 7,000-year-old monument fuels fascination. Already surrounded by mysteries like its damaged appearance and the geological incongruity of its location, the potential existence of a Sphinx-related underground complex hints at revelations that could reshape our comprehension of ancient Egypt's advanced capabilities. Number 9. The Lost Labyrinth of Egypt Legends speak of a spectacular ancient structure known as the Labyrinth of Egypt, an elaborate temple said to contain 3,000 rooms full of paintings, hieroglyphs, and sculptures. Lost for centuries deep in the desert sands, the labyrinth's enigmatic existence was confirmed when archaeologists recently uncovered part of its foundations near the pyramid complex at Hawara. The labyrinth was reportedly built around 1800 BCE, by Pharaoh Amenemhat III, who chose the site at Hawara for its proximity to the ancient capital of Memphis. The ancient Greek historian Herodotus described it as surpassing even the pyramids in grandeur. The structure was dedicated to Amenemhat III, whom ancient Egyptians revered as a god. This divine association resulted in the labyrinth acquiring a status equal to the Great Pyramids. Within the sprawling complex, Intricate passages led to halls with soaring columns and chambers decorated with stellar artistry reflecting Egypt's long artistic tradition. Besides its architectural magnificence, the labyrinth served as an important cultural center housing sacred relics and texts. Tragically, it did not survive the passage of time. In 2020, archaeologists uncovered substantial foundation ruins, including a pedestal once holding a gigantic statue of Amenemhat III. Hieroglyphs on the pedestal confirmed its link to the lost labyrinth. Additional mud-brick walls and columns were found, affirming the extravagant scale described by Herodotus. Number 8. The Buried City of Heracleion Off Egypt's Mediterranean coast lies the ancient port city of Thonis Heracleion, lost for over a millennium until its rediscovery in 2000. This archaeological treasure immersed in the sea is enriching our understanding of Egyptian trade, religion, and language. Prosperous from the 6th to 4th centuries BCE, Thonis Heracleion was Egypt's major international trade hub until Alexander the Great founded Alexandria. Intricately connected with immigration and commerce, it boasted grand temples fused with Greek and Egyptian influences. Violent earthquakes and tsunamis eventually submerged the vibrant city. Nearly 1,500 years later, marine archaeologists stumbled upon colossal statues, shipwrecks, gold coins, and stone tablets from Thonis Heracleion buried under 9 meters of water. Giant 10-meter-tall statues of gods emerged, showing cultural hybridity. Well-preserved steles bore previously unseen inscriptions, offering new linguistic insights. Ship contents provided information on trade networks and goods exchange. As excavations continue, this ancient metropolis is redefining our understanding of Egyptian civilization's scope. Its cosmopolitan flavor transforms rigid notions of Egyptian society. Thonis Heracleion's drowned mysteries resurrect an important piece of the Mediterranean's rich history, expanding Egyptology's boundaries. Number 7. 
pre-dynastic female figurines. In Egypt's early pre-pharaonic history, an intriguing type of artifact hints at cultural beliefs and practices. Abstract female figurines sculpted from hippopotamus ivory, clay, and stone. Concentrated along the Nile Valley from 4000 to 3500 BCE, these figurines provide clues to pre-dynastic Egypt's spiritual iconography and social dynamics. Typically 10 to 30 centimeters tall, these figures feature exaggerated female body parts like breasts, stomachs, and thighs, while minimizing faces and extremities. Regarded as fertility symbols, they underscored reproduction's cultural significance. Figurines modeled on pregnant women or holding children imply reverence for progenitive powers. Some figurines are faceless, suggesting identity is unimportant. While their abstract minimalist style contrasts later Egyptian figurative art, scholars theorize pre-dynastic art's crudeness reflects the period's instability and grappling with cultural identity preceding Egyptian unification. The female figurines encapsulate the era's attempts to comprehend forces of life, sexuality, and fertility through symbolic art. Their abundance highlights women's influential social roles in communally oriented pre-dynastic households. Number 6. Ancient Tattoos Tattooing is an ancient global practice, but evidence in Egypt long remained elusive. Recently, an analysis of preserved mummies revealed tattoos adorning Egyptian women as early as 1300 BCE. Locations on their bodies carried symbolic meaning, unlocking insights into Egyptian identity and female authority. On female mummies of different social classes, researchers discovered 30 tattoos depicting sacred imagery like gods' bees and sekhmet, cobras, cows, and lotus flowers. These permanent body markings were concentrated around the abdomen, thighs, and breasts, associated with fertility and sexuality. The tattoo's placement and figures indicate they functioned as magical talismans safeguarding women during pregnancy and childbirth. Additionally, tattoos encircled some women's arms, a pattern seen globally, suggesting esteem and leadership. Their presence confirms that Egyptian women held influential roles as priests, healers, and ritual practitioners. By pushing back tattooing's origins in Egypt to the Middle Kingdom, these preserved inscriptions contradict assumptions about ancient Egyptian cultural norms. The feminine tattoos unveil an overlooked facet of women's power and status. Their discovery inspires deeper investigation into the complexities of gender, authority, and spirituality in ancient Egypt. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick scientists discovered a 10,000-year-year-old portal to Pharaoh's era. It happened when British archaeologist Dr. John Smith and his team were studying the strange artifact they uncovered in the Egyptian desert. A glowing disk with cryptic hieroglyphs etched around its gleaming surface. Through intensive research, Dr. Smith concluded this was no ordinary object. He believes it's a portal allowing direct access to ancient Egypt over 10,000 years ago during the Pharaoh's reign. Dr. Smith recalls the account of a tourist who claimed to see a group holding ropes attached to an identical disc at the excavation site, but at that time, the disc was glowing. Dr. Smith initially dismissed the story as fiction, but now thinks the man got a fleeting glimpse through the portal. While thrilled by the possibilities, he is also uneasy. This gateway to the past could change our understanding of history and alter the present in unpredictable ways. For now, he plans to study the disc further in hopes of unraveling its mysteries. What do you think of this? Can anyone really control or understand its power? What could happen when the portal gets opened? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. The Cairo Calendar An exceptional Egyptian artifact providing rare mystical insights is the Cairo Calendar, an ancient astrological almanac inscribed on papyrus. Discovered in Cairo's archives, this precious manuscript illuminates the advanced horoscopic astrology practices of ancient Egyptians. Dating between 1244 to 1163 BCE, the Cairo calendar contains lucky and unlucky days, astrological diagrams, and celestial observations. This remarkable document is the earliest preserved horoscope. It demonstrates ancient Egyptians' sophisticated astrological capabilities as they charted stars and planets to predict auspicious timing for rituals, agriculture, business, 
and other decisions. The calendar integrates scientific observation with mythology, combining astronomical data with images of deities, 36 constellation groups marking time. Brief texts describe deities' mythological stories. This extraordinary papyrus reflects ancient Egyptian ingenuity, merging science, mysticism, and art. As one of the oldest horoscopes worldwide, the Cairo calendar provides spectacular insights into the highly developed astrological science permeating Egyptian cosmology and daily life. Its celestial charts and tables underscore ancient Egyptians' exceptional grasp of astronomy's predictive power and spiritual application. Number 4. The Sacred Falcon Mummies In ancient Egypt, falcons were revered as incarnations of the sky god Horus. Recently, scientists analyzed Egyptian falcon mummies using CT scans and DNA sequencing, revealing enthralling insights into bird mummification practices and Egyptian religious symbolism. CT scans of falcon mummies from 600 BCE show intricately wrapped layers of linen and resin-soaked bandages molded to resemble living birds. Evidence indicates Egyptians raised captive-bred falcons as offerings, rather than using wild birds. Embalming them required elaborate skills. Resin pods were cleverly inserted in skull cavities to maintain head shape. DNA analysis identified multiple bird species, including kestrels, kites, and falconets mummified together, evidencing surprising taxonomic fluidity in which raptors represented Horus. Their breeding and mummification demonstrate how lavishing resources on animal mummies honored the gods. Number 3. The Alexandria Lighthouse the Lighthouse of Alexandria was among the seven wonders of the ancient world, a colossal tower guiding ships that stood for over 1,500 years before crumbling into the sea. Lost for centuries, its ruins were rediscovered in 1994, unearthing insights into ancient architectural ingenuity. Constructed around 280 BCE, this immense lighthouse tower rose over 120 meters high on the island of Pharos near Alexandria's harbor. At its pinnacle blazed a mirror system reflecting sunlight day and night, viewable up to 50 kilometers offshore. An engineering marvel, its design has never been replicated. The Lighthouse of Alexandria was built by Sostratus of Cnidus, a Greek architect. It was built to help ships navigate the dangerous waters around the coast of Alexandria. It was also a symbol of the power and wealth of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. The lighthouse was severely damaged by an earthquake in 1303 and was eventually abandoned and fell into ruin. Number 2. Solar Boat Tombs Flanked by Egypt's famous pyramids are concealed tombs containing beautifully preserved solar boats intended to transport pharaohs through the afterlife. Their excavation exposed examples of ancient Egyptian spiritual beliefs in the journey after death and magnificent woodcraft for eternal vessels. Buried near the Great Pyramid around 2500 BCE, one such pit contained a 40-meter-long cedar ship, meticulously pieced together. Another at Giza included fragments of a second solar barge. A third boat was found near the Pyramid of Khufu. These boats were entombed with meticulous funerary instructions for Pharaoh's use in eternity. The ships showcase phenomenal craftsmanship with cedar planks adhered together seamlessly. Their fine state of preservation grants significant insight into ancient Egyptian boat-building technology and design. The boat's purpose highlights beliefs in an afterlife journey, with solar vessels ensuring passage for royalty. Number 1. The Workers' Tombs at Giza In 1990, archaeologists uncovered a monumental discovery next to Egypt's Great Pyramids, a sprawling cemetery containing the tombs of hundreds of workers, who built the majestic Giza pyramids. These simple tombs, dating back 4,500 years, are shedding invaluable light on the lives and deaths of ordinary laborers who constructed the incredible pyramids. The tombs contain the remains of workers, along with pottery filled with provisions for the afterlife. Their proximity to the pyramids confirms they built these massive monuments. Despite harsh conditions, some workers lived to 40 to 50 years, evidenced by arthritis and bone injuries in their remains. Though given respectable burials, their tombs were less lavish than those of the wealthy. The tomb's modest offerings indicate organized, state-sponsored pyramid labor, not slaves. 
Workers were likely respected as skilled craftsmen during life, before fading into historical anonymity. Isotopic analysis of bones reveals many migrated from distant regions in Egypt, drawn by Giza's major state projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.